welcome back everyone in today's video we are diving deep into a breaking story that has everyone in the tech industry buzzing i just stumbled upon this yahoo finance article and it has been quoted by many media outlets china is poised to effectively ban nvidia's best selling h20 chips over energy efficiency concerns now this isn't just another industry scrabble this issue cuts right to the heart of current geopolitical tensions the urgent need for sustainable technology and the heated competition driving artificial intelligence worldwide so buckle up because in the next 10 minutes we'll explore what's going on the forces playing behind the scenes and what it might mean for the broader tech market and future innovation paths let's dive right into it so first let me paint you a picture nvidia we all know is still the leader and they are not going anywhere but the news surrounding them is quite interesting they are one of the premier chip makers on the planet providing powerful graphics processing units or gpus crucial to the backbone of machine learning and ai workloads china a huge market for nvidia has had a booming demand for these chips especially they recently introduced h20 gpus now the kicker here is these specific chips were actually specially designed by nvidia to comply with us export controls which restrict how powerful the chips can be if american companies want to sell technology into mainland china the h20 chips are deliberately stepped down version of nvidia's most advanced technology which was supposed to allow nvidia to maintain access to the massive chinese market but just when nvidia thought they had solved one regulatory puzzle another complex situation flares up beijing's national development and reform commission or ndrc china's top economic regulatory body recently began advising tech giants such as alibaba tencent and bytedance against purchasing chips including nvidia's h20 because these chips don't meet new stricter energy efficiency standards the country rolled out and this is the regulator behind all of this now this is getting real interesting now energy consumption by data centers has become a flashpoint with concerns mounting globally over tax power full demands and environmental footprint here's where it gets really fascinating nvidia caught between american export laws and chinese environmental restrictions is facing a perfect regulatory storm the h20 chips designed specifically to fit one set of rules amazingly end up running a foul of another so let's unpack why this matters a lot for nvidia first scale and that is really important china and hong kong make up about 13% of nvidia's revenue stream around 17 billion us dollars annually losing outright or even severely curtailing such a market would be seriously painful for the company already markets have jittered over the news with nvidia's stocks seeing significant dips as investor grapple with uncertainty maybe a good opportunity for buying the stated reason of these restriction energy efficiency is also very critical especially with the global tech industry grappling increasingly with sustainability goals energy efficient tech isn't merely a buzzword anymore folks it's real financial and regulatory pressure is there nvidia will likely need to accelerate innovation to create chips that meet these sustainability mandates there is a possibility they'll just adjust the h20 chip to comply with ndrc's demands but then you risk lowering chip performance and market competitiveness now zoom out from nvidia's specifically and let's look at what this might indicate geopolitically 
It reflects a broader context for ongoing tension between Washington and Beijing over technology. We are witnessing tech standards rapidly becoming proxies in geopolitical power plays. Nvidia, an American company crucial to global AI progress, finds itself caught in the middle of these tit for tat regulatory moves. And here's something telling. The stricter green standards seem to indirectly favor China's own domestic chip rivals like Huawei, who are better positioned to comply with local rules quickly and efficiently. This would surely play into China's broader aims to build robust domestic tech independence, a topic that has dominated strategic agendas recently and that has far-reaching consequences. And now you must be wondering what's next. So look, I believe that NVIDIA is not going to sit quietly. They are already, by the way, urgently working with Chinese officials in hopes to resolve or at least soften the blow. They have requested high-level meetings with NDRC chair Zheng Shenji, which I just showed you, and maybe possibly looking for a compromise or at least some breathing room to redesign or make specific adjust adjustments to their products. But if this discussion stalls, what happens to all those GPUs NVIDIA planned for China's growing AI sector? Would NVIDIA try repurposing them elsewhere, perhaps in emerging markets hungry for any technological advantage? Could they drop prices to move chip volume into secondary market or perhaps shift more aggressively towards cloud-based services in markets with fewer regulatory hurdles? And this price reduction is what really is something I hope for. Whatever happens, expect ripple effects felt globally. American and Chinese firms alike are closely watching this stance, recognizing the increasingly complex nature of this navigation between two competing sets of governmental rules and interests. Now, as we approach our conclusion, let me give you my own perspective here. While China's environmental concerns surrounding energy use are absolutely valid and crucial, we can't ignore the strategic convenience for Beijing in using energy standards as leverage a subtle yet potent approach to shaping real tech reliance. NVIDIA and similar US giants suddenly have to thread an absurdly tight needle between national security and environmental guidelines all while staying commercially viable in compute competing market environments. Long term, this could spur breakthrough innovations. After all, many of our momentous technological leaps were re reactions to sudden barriers or crisis. And China's own deep seek is one example of that. NVIDIA might pivot quicker towards more sophisticated low energy technology, sparking innovations beneficial not just to their company, but to the wider global push for sustainable computing technologies. In closing, let's say, tuned on this story, NVIDIA's innovative, hugely inno influential push at the crossroad of geopolitics, energy efficiency, I think this could be very, very interesting. Before I let you go, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are iGenPort. iGenPort lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will also drop the link to their website in the video's description. That's all for today. From this end on for this story, don't forget to subscribe subscribe please for more deep dives into tech and these sort of stories especially from the technical point of view and of course the intersection there until next time stay curious and we will talk soon thank you very much